Hello everyone! In this video we'll have fun transferring our image onto a layer of gel medium. And we'll create a photo set in a layer which can be used in a variety of mixed media projects. And at the end of the video we will have some studio updates. Yeah, so today's process is really fun and I hope you enjoy it. So let's start now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my studio. We're gonna make something like this one. It's a photo embedded inside a gel skin. It's sort of plasticky, but it's soft plastic that you can bend. What can you do with it? You can use it as part of your collage. You can mount it on different surfaces like wood or canvas. So here is what we need today. And as you can see, we only need a few supplies. I'm going to begin by taping down my photo so it doesn't move during transfer. The gel medium I'm using is Golden Soft Gel. But you can also use gloss or matte gel, matte medium, and even mud podge. I like using the soft gel because it has a nice consistency, so it's easy to apply. For this process to work, it's a good idea to apply a good amount of gel. And I spread the first layer in an up and down direction. I also make sure to spread the gel over the borders of my image since I like to have the uneven edges. Okay, so now the first layer of gel needs to dry and I like to help it with a little fan. When the first layer is dry, I'm going to add the second layer of the gel medium. And this time I'm going to spread it from side to side. And while the second layer dries, let me mention that this process is available in my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. The book is available on Amazon. So Okay, so now it's time for the last layer of gel. And as you can see, this time I spread it diagonally. And again, make sure to add a good amount of gel if you want your final skin to be sturdy. But if you want it to be thin, which will make it easier to use in a collage, uh, simply make the layers thinner and don't apply too much of the gel medium. When all the layers are completely dry, you can remove the tape and place the transfer in a tray of warm water. And keep in mind, just a short soak is needed. And now we are going to remove the paper from the back of the transfer. However, at this point, disaster strikes and my camera didn't record this part of the process. So the following footage is from another video where the basic removal of the paper is very and similar. I peeling off the paper. Usually I like to start at the corner. I think this is my very favorite part of the process. It's very relaxing. Okay, so now I'm going to put it aside to dry. Yes. 
When you're done removing the paper, you might notice there is still some paper left over the image. But don't worry, once you apply the protective finish, the paper will disappear. I like to use Krylon Clear Spray. Gloss or flat are both fine. Or you can also use a brush on finish. And by the way, there are links to all the supplies I used today below this video. Okay, so now let's go back to our transfer. Our photo is embedded inside the gel skin and now it can be used in a collage, mounted on different surfaces or framed. And these types of uh, gel photos actually look great in a floating frame, which is a frame with glass on both sides. This is what a black and white gel layer transfer looks like. I think it will look great over a colorful collage background. So let's see how it works over this collage I've made before. I like it very much. And this is a gel medium transfer I made from an old photo of my parents. I like it and I think it will make a great gift for my mom. I think she would love it. So yeah, you can make family photos and gift it to people. I really like it. It would be really nice to frame it. Uh, this is what it looks like when you transfer an inkjet image. So it works, but it's not as translucent as a laser photo. And by the way, if you use an inkjet photo, it's important to coat it with spray fixative before starting the process, or else the image will just smudge. In fact, this image was actually originally brown, so keep it in mind. This one is very thin since I applied just a couple of thin layers of the gel medium. I think I'm going to frame this one and hang it in my studio. And I hope you can see it. Oh, gel, gel. Is it the wrong way? <laughs> I think it's the wrong way. <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. I found it. It's available on Amazon. I hope you can see it. <laughs> Anything else you can think of. Uh, those kind of photos in a... This kind of a... In a floating... Uh, in a floating frame on both sides. Skins, uh, these kind of photos. It's pretty cool. I think it's, it looks really nice. <laughs> An old photo of my parents that I transferred into the gel. I didn't plan it this way, but I really like it. <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it. This is like the best way I can describe it. Today we gonna... <laughs> you can... You can see my... <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time. And if you're interested in my books and online classes, check out the links below this video.